Good morning, everyone. This is Jeffy Kennedy, author of Fantasy Romance and Romantic Fantasy, here with my first cup of coffee. Well, that's tasty. Uh, today is, <laughs> who knows, today is Thursday, June 10th, uh, out here in the Secret Garden with my St. Thomas mug, a little paradise is good for the soul. Ah, yeah, so I feel like I have kind of bags under my eyes. Is that just me? I didn't use my um, rose quartz roller this morning. Nothing like staring at your own face. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Actually, my eyes were aggravated this morning for, for no good reason. Could be like some allergens or something. So, sorry about no podcast on Tuesday. Uh, the parents were here visiting. They came in on Monday afternoon. We're here all day Tuesday, so I got to go play with my mom. She bought me this new tank top. Isn't it pretty? And then we, uh, and then they left on Wednesday morning. They headed up to Colorado Springs where they're renting a house for the month. So a bit of a whirlwind visit, but it was good to have them here and they're two delightful kitties. Um, Mom, our kitties did investigate the bedroom after you guys were in there, but they're like totally unconcerned. They're like, oh yeah, those kitties, we know their smell. So I think I may have left, I may have notes, but I think I left them inside for what am I going to talk about today? Um, What am I going to talk about today? Nobody knows. I slept really hard last night. Um, woke up kind of groggy. I've got writer coffee this morning. Haven't had that for a couple of weeks. Um, still really pushing to finish Bright Familiar, which I guess I didn't talk about on Monday because uh, we had Lexi Chantal on for interview, which was fun. We're going to have Minerva Spencer on here in July uh, for another interview. And, uh, I'm trying to get her to do video. She lives nearby. She lives in Taos and I don't think we'll end up actually getting physically together, but I'm trying to get her to do the internet video. So if you are a fan of Minerva, tell her, (laughs) she says she's feeling very conflicted about whether or not she wants anybody to see her on video ever, which I think is funny but I can also understand it's that staring at your own face thing. So on Friday, I, um, Thursday, I did a little bit better. I I don't remember what I said on Friday at the podcast. I mean, bright familiar really slowed down last week. I was not getting my three K per day. And on Friday, I worked the first hour seeing if I could write a little bit more. I did move a scene forward on Thursday. I stopped fighting the appearance of yet another new character. Who am I? What is art? Um, <laughs> I am the don't introduce new characters later in the book person. I should just like never put out rules or preferences because it's like every fucking time that I do, then the next book is like, I am going to make you break that rule. tell you people. Um, (laughs) I I feel like it's the universe. It's like the universe. Here's that challenge. It's like, oh, let me find a way to make you change your mind on that. Um, I think there are good reasons for these characters to be appearing. And if I fight their appearance, then the book just like stops working with me altogether. So there we are. So Thursday I did manage to get some more done because I stopped fighting what the book wanted. I know I'm, I'm always saying this, aren't I? It's, um, you, sometimes people ask me in interviews, like what's something surprising you learned from writing this book. And it's like, it, I don't learn anything surprising anymore. I learned the same damn thing over and over and over again. What is with that? So, um, I don't know. I'm a slow learner or maybe it's art. What is art? Who am I? Do you guys know why I say that? (laughs) 
it's um it's from a dar williams song it's actually from a dar williams introduction to a song on um one of her albums i don't remember what it's called but it's her live album and when she's introducing the song um i won't be your yoko ono she talks about going to college and doing performance art things and um and it's very funny how she tells this story about uh about doing these very inventive experimental performance art pieces and it's hysterical and and at one point she's like and we were all like what is art who am i and i just love that and i got to meet dar williams a couple of years ago a few years ago when she was here in town for a concert and she um we hung out and talked to her afterwards because megan mulberry went with me and she hadn't been to a dar williams concert before but she really enjoyed it and uh and afterwards megan's like well let's let's hang out and wait for everybody to leave because it was a small gig space here in fact it's called the gig space and she said let's just hang out and and wait for everyone else to be done getting like her autograph and talking to her and see if she wants to go for a beer this is one of the things i love about megan because it absolutely occurs to her you know like she and i were going back and forth on instagram about this new yorker cartoon and she tagged the cartoonist it's like why don't i think of doing that i'll tag a writer but anyway dar did not go have drinks with us because she had to get up early to go on the road and possibly because she thought we were crazy in fact she said um because we were obviously hanging out and waiting for everybody else to leave and she said um after we talked to her for a few minutes and i told her this story about how i loved that intro to the song which i think she like barely remembered but thought was funny the same way like when people quote my books to me uh and she's like oh it was really nice talking to you and she said you know the people who wait around until the very end at the end of the show you never know if they're going to be great or crazy (laughs) Uh, so anyway um bright familiar uh on friday i tried the first hour tried writing a little bit more and then i could just tell the it didn't i couldn't write the end from there i'm only about 80 pages uh, four chapters from the end which is i'm gonna sneeze (coughs) excuse me (coughs) There we are. Um, it's both good and bad because, uh, there's not much left to write, but I feel like there's a lot more story than I have room for, which is also something I always say. So, um, at least I'm not feeding baby birds all day. Tell, tell you guys, it's a hell of a lot of work. Um, I also have no attention span. <laughs> so, so yeah, I tried to write for that first hour and I determined that, uh, I was not going to be able to write the end of the book from there. And so I went back to the beginning and started revising from the beginning. And I, the thing is, is what with my folks being here this week and just a few other things that have been going on, really no good reason, except that I think I'm a little bit tired in my creatively tired my concentration's not quite there hello hummer she says good morning (laughs) yeah so i've made it through 60 pages something like that and so my hope is is that i can finish this revision and i'm making notes for things i need to tie up or insert along the way and then have a running start at the end these are also long chapters i the alert listeners among you might have noticed when i said that i have um about four chapters and about 80 pages um dark wizard was the same and it's an interesting thing because people ask me about that sometimes writers will ask what chapter length should be and and it's you always feel bad when you give people an answer like well it depends because um it depends is not a helpful answer but in the case of chapter length it really depends on the book 
and on this series and the world and dark wizard ended up having long chapters and so does bright familiar it has something to do with the pace of the story I know some writers, uh, one in particular, uh, and I should caveat this with that. I actually don't have any respect for her. It's not this process, but this particular writer, I just, um, there are a lot of things she does that I don't really respect is the word I keep coming up with. Um, she has a weird cavalier way of going about it at times. She's also treated people I know badly. So that probably factors in. But anyway, she says that she just writes the book straight through. And then she goes back up and chonks it into chapters of roughly equivalent length. Which, you know, I'm actually not very much what is art, who am I most of the time, which is probably why I find that funny. But I do believe in the rhythm of chapter length and I I don't necessarily end chapters on hooks, which some writers do in order to keep readers reading. They look for the hookiest moment to stop. Um, for me, I feel like a chapter should be, I don't know, a capsule. It should be, you know, I always love the Tesseract thing, you know, that the shape of the smallest component influences the shape of the whole. For me, the shape of a chapter influences the shape of the entire book. And so, so maybe that's an answer for how long should a chapter be? Because it depends on how long the book is, but it also depends on the rhythm of the book and what you want each of those encapsulations to feel like, you know, and it's funny over nebula weekend, I was talking with in Slack with, um, this newbie writer, <clears throat> who said that, uh, commented that he was tragically too old to understand TikTok because he was already 18. <laughs> and then he made a comment about being aware of talking to people who are twice as old as he is. I wanted to say try three times. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, I really do believe this is a total aside, uh, which all of these conversations are, let's face it, um, that having being friends with people who are younger than you are is one of the keys to retaining youth um, and to retaining relevancy. Uh, another question I get asked sometimes is how do you keep up with the vernacular of the youths? Um, you know, like what slang meaning is and all of those things, you know, and understanding things like what the hell is TikTok? Um, and a lot of it is being friends with younger people. Uh, you know, it's like actually have conversations with people who use the slang in their language, daily language, which you know, it's like, maybe that's asking too much. Some people are really rigid about that, but um, I love having friends who are younger than I am. Actually, I've always liked having friends who are older than I am. It's never much mattered to me. So anyway, how did I get on that? chapter links, asking questions about, Ooh, it's flown out of my head. Maybe it'll come back to me. Um, it was like another kind of question I get asked. Nope, it's gone. My brain is not retaining, not holding things. I might have to do like a whole day off this weekend, unplug and, uh, do a little brain reboot. So, so yeah, when people ask about what the chapter length should be, it's, um, oh, I know what it was. Ha! I knew if I started talking about it, I'd get it. So occasionally I feel, uh, it's an interesting thing getting older, um, and feeling like the older generation. And, and I think Gen X in particular is tremendously amused to find ourselves in the position of, you know, I don't, I won't, I don't want to say being listened to because nobody listens to us still, but we're very used to not being listened to. <laughs> um, we, you know, when we were young, no one listened to us. And, you know, so now it's like when the young people don't want to listen to us, it's just like, yeah, we're here. We are. We're just going to do our thing while you guys don't listen to us. Uh, but 
I grew up in the era of listening to albums, whereas, you know, kids these days uh, shuffle everything. And, and I do that. I love to put my uh, music on all songs shuffle uh, because it's like my own personal radio. And there have been times when uh, people have you know, long before this uh, commented that my music gives them musical whiplash <laughs> because there will be things like, um, you know, uh, an oboe aria followed by Nickelback followed by Pink Floyd's The Wall. But, you know, it's it's all about what I like. See, that ties in with like the people. I don't care how old the people are. It's all, it's all what, what I like. Uh, so, but there was a thing to albums uh, that I feel like, I feel like we've lost these days uh, in the release of the single song. Although I think some artists are coming back to it. I think Taylor Swift has really been doing that uh, with her two releases last year. Uh, coming back to the idea of listening to an album in the order that the artist put it together because uh, it does create a particular feel. And that's to me how chapters work. That the individual chapters are like songs except that uh, unlike with songs you can't split them out and just throw them out there in the world. It's um, I suppose you could but they won't make sense. They're, they're meant to be listened to in order. They're meant to be absorbed in order. And the, the length of them and where each chapter concludes creates a rhythm. It, it creates this, it's almost like you're listening to a symphony and, and the chapters are movements within that symphony. There's another musical analogy. And so I think that's why I react just like that. For those on video, I react badly. I trick my head back in shock when somebody says that they do something like just chop the book up into regular intervals. It's like, well, really? You don't care <laughs> any more than that? The story doesn't mean more to you than that? But so let's see. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm revising and uh, making notes. I know there's some things I want to weave in. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the bad part is I may not have time to have any of my betas read. I'll probably start sending it to them soon and have them read as I go in case I could go back and add stuff in. But it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight with the July 9th release. I have to turn it into the copy editor on June 25th. Oh my god, that's 15 days from now. <laughs> What am I doing here talking to you guys? I can do it, right? I can do it. Um, next couple of weeks is going to be intense focus. All right. On that note, I'm going to go get to work. Uh, get some done before writer coffee. I'll remind you all that first cup of coffee is part of the Frolic Media Podcast Network. And you will find more podcasts that you love at frolic.media slash podcasts. And you all take care. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.